The Laventille West Women's League meeting schedule, a sham to reinstate Fitzgerald Hines, an editorial by Professor Wall Street. The recent developments within the Laventille West Women's League have raised significant concerns about the integrity of the nomination process for the upcoming general elections. The decision to reschedule the meeting ostensibly to address irregularities appears to be a calculated move to reinstate Fitzgerald Hines as the People's National Movement PNM candidate, despite his previous rejection by the League members. A questionable rescheduling. The initial meeting held by the Laventille West Women's League ended with a clear outcome. Fitzgerald Hines received only one vote, while attorney and Port of Spain Alderman Karim Marcel garnered 38 votes. This decisive rejection of Hines should have been respected as a democratic expression of the member's will. However, the executive's decision to mandate a second meeting, citing irregularities and lack of proper notice, undermines this democratic process, manipulating the process. The executive's justification for a second meeting is based on alleged procedural flaws such as the failure to inform all constituency units. While procedural integrity is crucial, the timing and manner of this intervention suggest an ulterior motive. The rescheduling conveniently provides Hines with another opportunity to secure the nomination, despite the clear preference for Marcel in the initial vote. A pattern of disregard. This is not the first time the PNM has faced accusations of manipulating internal processes to favor certain candidates. The party's history of sidelining grassroots voices in favor of established figures raises questions about its commitment to genuine democratic principles. The Laventille West Women's League's experience is a microcosm of a broader issue within the party where the leadership's preferences often override the rank and file members' choices. The need for transparency. For the PNM to maintain its credibility, it must ensure that all internal processes are transparent and fair. The rescheduled meeting on November 7th must be conducted with utmost integrity, ensuring that all members are duly informed and that their votes are respected. Any attempt to manipulate the outcome will only further erode trust in the party's commitment to democracy. In conclusion, the Laventille West Women's League's new meeting schedule is more than just a procedural correction. It is a test of the PNM's democratic values. The party must demonstrate that it respects the voices of its members and that it is committed to fair and transparent processes. Anything less would be a disservice to the principles of democracy and a betrayal of the trust placed in the party by its supporters.